Hello everybody, it's Flippin' Friday. Stick around to see what I sold this past week. Hello everybody and thank you for checking out my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Heather. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, ThreadUp, The Real Real, Facebook Marketplace, Tradesy, and Depop. I'm a mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a wife to Dustin. I'm a volleyball coach player, and I love Disney. So if you are already subscribed, thank you for coming back. I appreciate your support. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new and you like reseller content, I do what sold videos, thrift hauls, and mystery unboxings mostly through ThreadUp. There's Ellie. That's my little dog. She's very cute. Aren't you, Ellie? She's very feisty. She likes to look out the window. We're hoping when we move to a new house, we do not have a couch that backs up to a window because this is a couch cover because she's ruined couches. She jumps up on them and freaks out and barks every time she hears something. So this is an old couch with a couch cover on it. I know she likes to look out the window, but she's ruined stuff. Okay, back to the point. This is a what sold video. I'm gonna go through what I sold this week, um, let you know how much I sold it for and where I sold it on, what platform. And yeah, let's just get into it. So Facebook Marketplace like randomly picked up for me this week, which is good, but I don't know why. So I wish I knew why because then I could do it more, but who knows? I think I had like four sales in one day, which is weird for me because lately I've had like one or two sales a week. So let's just go through on there and see what I sold. The first thing that sold actually overnight last night was this Catherine's Tropical Print Sleeveless Tank Top that sold for $20. Still lots of people telling me not to get Catherine's and they still keep getting it. I really don't care because that's a great sale. I bought it for like three or four bucks. Um, next was a pair of Can Can High Rise Distressed Skinny Ankle Jeans. These sold for 20. I sold this Fossil Brown Leather Jeweled Purse. This sold for 25. The buyer was actually messaging me, asking me where I live for local pickup, all these questions. And then she just realized that she didn't live in the same state as me. I think some people don't realize that Facebook Marketplace isn't just local because I have a lot of times where people will say, oh, I live here and it's not even close to me. Anyway, $25 for that. I sold this Cabby Celebrity Top. This was a sleeveless size medium and it sold very quickly for $18 before I could even put it away. So that's great. Next was a Catherine's Blue Tie-Dye Swimsuit Top. This sold for $20. Another Catherine's item, this was a sheer open kimono cardigan. This was in a 2X petite that also sold for 20. Okay, and I think that's it. So like I said, not a ton, but more than before. So definitely happy about that. I made one sale on Depop and it was these Jeffrey Campbell black combat boots. Someone actually sent me an offer originally on Depop for those and I accepted, but they never paid. So apparently that's a thing on Depop. I don't really know what I'm doing there yet still. People are starting to try to ask me for advice. I've heard from people like to use hashtags, do free shipping, but I don't know. I'm gonna give it like two more weeks. Uh, actually, I'm gonna try out a cross-listing platform possibly for the first time ever. So if you guys use one, put it down in the comments below. I was looking at Vendu or List Perfectly, but then I heard about the free one called Flip, F-L-Y-P, but apparently you have to get put in a waiting list um, but I'm like, if it's free, that's so much better. So I've heard that it only takes a few days to get approved. So I did the thing for flip, I think yesterday or possibly the day before. So hopefully through this weekend, I hear from somebody. So hopefully through this weekend, I will hear from someone about that or get approved. So if I do, I'll let you guys know, but I'm starting to list like 20 things a day. Cause I'm trying to ramp up my store a little bit more, make more sales. And it's just like, and like listing on more platforms, like I added Depop. So it's taking even longer for me to list. So I'm really looking to use a cross posting service. So anyway, that's that. Maybe this is why I'm not making sales in Depop. Okay, here's the picture, which is like, okay, whatever. I don't know what she's selling, the sword, the top. But the description is, we talk in big bows and tiny crystals. Upcycled curtains are your friend. What? <laughs> and I'm over here selling a Lululemon sweater. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's not the app for me. Okay, let's move on. Tradesy, I didn't have any sales on Tradesy this week. Mercari kind of picked up. 
So let's just go over that. Oh, I also had one in-person sale, not in-person, but like off-platform sale to Tia. She buys for me on Instagram sometimes and she got um, this soft surroundings kimono. It was really pretty. It's called the Autumn Topper. I've sold it two or three times before and we did $28 shipped on that. Okay, Mercari. I sold this vintage Hanes teddy bear heart teal sweatshirt. It was really cute. I couldn't leave it behind. The little teddy bear was almost like 3D and had like fur on it. So that sold super quick for $19. I also sold these vintage Juicy Couture white terry cloth pants for $19. Next was a Talbot's blue linen short sleeve top. It was, I think, at a plus size. And that sold for $20, I think. I just rated it and now I can't find it. I think it was $20. You'll see it on the screen. It's close to that if it wasn't 20. Um, next, a pair of Athleta Women's Chaturanga Capri Blue Crop Leggings. These also sold for 20. So as you're noticing so far, I'm having lots of sales like that, which is okay because all of those add up and that's what pays the bills. Next was a Garden Hill Batwing Gauze Top Plaid. This sold for $27. I sold another pair of Tevas. These are the same style as all the other ones that I picked up that one time. These ones sold for 26. Next was a pair of Vans Old School Flames shoes. I got these thinking my nephew would want them, but he didn't. So I sold them for $25. Another Catherine's item. This was a black white tie dye cardigan. This sold for $21. I sold these Jimmy Choo green leather stiletto cage heels. These came to me in a thread up designer box, which I've been again stalking the website. Cannot find them available. They sold for $107. So amazing sale. I sold these Crocs black round toe work flats for $23. And my last thing on Mercari were these Fabletics burgundy athletic shorts for $19. I've had those for a really long time, but I got them a while ago. They were a size extra large. So glad to move those. Now, eBay and Poshmark. Usually Poshmark is my best selling platform. I don't know about this week because I don't really add up my sales very often unless I really feel like it, but eBay the last couple of days definitely is outperforming Poshmark. My Poshmark has been crap. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments, like, how has Poshmark been for you? So I'm so glad that I cross post. Um, let's just move on here. The first thing I sold on eBay was just this morning. It was this new Dooney and Burke Weather Leather 2 bucket bag. I just picked this up at a consignment store for $70. So basically double my money, which is really good when I pay up for an item that much. And I sold it for 150, super fast within a couple of days. Next was a Missoni Chevron knit knee length designer skirt. This came to me in a thread up designer box and it sold for $50. I sold this Catherine striped three quarter sleeve oversized tunic that sold for 20. Catherine's is gonna be like my new bread and butter brand. Next was a Free People Laguna lilac purple thermal top that sold for 22. I sold this Cacique Black Intuition Full Coverage Bra. This was in a size 46 triple D and it sold for 15. Next was this Garnet Hill dress. Sold very quickly. It was the Red Summer Day dress with pockets, size 10, sold for 22. Next was a Prana shirt. And if you can see the picture, it's super wrinkly because I was too lazy and I didn't feel like steaming it, but it still sold in a few days for $12. I know it's not much, but I paid a couple bucks for it in Basically what I've been doing is accepting almost every offer, unless it's like something really expensive or like more rare. But like I said in that last video, I think in my thrift haul, I'll put that up here if you didn't see it at a huge thrift haul. Um, just trying to multiply my money and just make those sales and accept offers when it's a common item. Um, I did sell this J. Crew navy blue flower print top for 16, but the buyer hasn't paid yet, so Hopefully they do. They bought that yesterday. Next was a new with tags. Lucky Brand Persian Carpet Short Sleeve Casual Top in a size 2X sold for $22. I sold another thing from Lucky Brand. These were tall leather riding boots and these sold for $25. I sold this vintage Kate Spade Y2K 90s black nylon handbag. That sold for $25. Came to me in a thread up name brand handbag box. Next was this Lululemon jacket. It's called If You're Lucky Athletic Jacket. That sold very quickly in a day for $35. Also probably because it was a size 12. So, so a great size. Next was a Wrangler Festival High Waisted Denim Cutoff Shorts in a size 29. These sold for 
I sold this Suzanne Betro white gingham top, short sleeve, 1X, sold for 15. Oh, I sold this dress, but I just realized I haven't deleted it off my other platforms because I just sent out an offer on it on Mercari. Okay, better go do that. Athleta Shore Break Swim Dress, um, size medium, sold for 25. Next was another item that hasn't been paid for yet, so we shall see. It was a Torrid Watercolor Tie Front Duster, sold for 25. Next is a pair of Vans Cat Sneakers. I got these at Plato's Closet, and I sold them for $30. I sold this Torrid Women's Plus Size Kelly Green Textured Moto Jacket for 25 Next is the new Lafayette 148 Women's Blue Tie-Dye Halter Dress. I had this for a long time, but I think I got it last year, end of season, like maybe end of summer. So I kind of expected it to sit for a while. It sold for $75, which is great. But what is not great is that I had it marked in the wrong bin. So I had it marked as L13, but it was an LL13, which is that was the should have been the very first bin that I looked at. But I just started with my A's and I went all the way through and oh my gosh. Thank goodness I finally found it. Okay, next. Tory Burch Ella Packable Nylon Tote. This came to me in a Thread Up Designer box, or no. I think a name brand handbag box, and it sold for $80. Um, I sold this Lily Pulitzer Tiki Romper Sleeveless, size extra small for $50. This was something that I had went through and relisted. I'm slowly trying to go back through my eBay store and fix listings because before, I wasn't really doing everything that I should. Um... I was not filling as, out as many item specifics and my pricing was too high on a lot of things. So I'm going back through and I'm filling in as many item specifics as I can. And I'm looking, they have a little like prediction thing, kind of like Poshmark where you can see how much things are selling for. So I'm looking through that and I'm pricing like $5 above the average sale price and it is resulting in more sales. So that's just kind of what's working for me for eBay. Next was a Torrid Dip Dye Orchid Wing Sweatshirt sold for $20. I sold this Vintage White House Black Market Tube Top Corset. Um, that sold for $15. Another pair of Tevas. These ones were a size 9 blue and they sold for $20. Next was a Cabby Catwalk Top size small. This sold very quickly for $14.88. I sold these Big Star Live Lightly Distressed Jeans in a size 28 long. These were something that my daughter had before I sold all of her inventory, and they sold for $28.88. Next was an Athleta Studio Bar sweatshirt in a size small. That sold for $22.88. I also sold this Torrid Leopard Print Chiffon Animal Print sweatshirt. This one only sold for $10. Someone sent me the offer. I've had it for a while. I find Torrid all the time, so I'm glad to move it. Next was a Juicy Couture 100% Cashmere Brown Zip Up Hooded Sweater, and that sold for $25.00. I sold this ATM purple favorite V-neck slub boyfriend tee for $22. And that's it. That's it on eBay. So I'm very happy with my eBay sales. I hope they continue to go really good this weekend. And I hope Poshmark picks up as well. I'm hoping if everything goes right that my husband and I will be able to pay off both of our cars at the end of this month. So I have a Mitsubishi Outlander. It's a small SUV and he's got a really nice Camaro. He also has a truck, so if he if we can pay off both of those, all of our cars will be paid off, which would be amazing. And then we're going to save up just a little bit more in our account and hopefully move. So I'll have to keep you guys like filled in with that if you want to kind of follow along on our journey. I did notice on Zillow, lots more houses are starting to pop up now that it's getting warmer out. So I'm like, ah, but I know my husband, like he does not like change. So this is going to be huge for him, but I'm super excited because I've never moved. I've lived in this house since like before we were married. So anyway, that's exciting. That's kind of a little bit of a personal chat there. Paying off the cars at the end of the month. Moving on to Poshmark. The first thing I sold was this Chloe Lauren suede espadrille lace up sandals. Now Chloe is a really good brand to be on the lookout for, but these came to me in a thread up designer box and they were pretty beat up and dirty and I couldn't clean them. So I only sold them for $30. Next is a pair of Can Can Women's Isla High Rise Ankle Jeans. These were in a size 24 and they sold for $25. I sold these Athleta Phaleron Off-White Drawstring. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I'm turning off my sound. You've earned points for Casey's Cash. Casey's Gas Station, do you guys have those? They have the best pizza. Um, Athleta Pants sold for 20. Dansko Larissa Black Milled Napa Leather Slip-On Comfort Shoes. They sold for $25. Do 
New Spanx Encore Nude High-Waisted Briefs. These came to me in a Thread Up Fun Box. They did have a mark on them, but they still sold for $25. This Lucky Brand swimsuit sold super quick. It wasn't a size large, and it sold for $21. Next was a Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chick Light Open Kimono Sweater. This sold for $30. I sold this Talbot's Medium Petite Merino Wool Navy Military Jacket. That sold for $20. Next was a pair of American Eagle Dark Wash Distressed Mid-Rise Jeggings. These were in a size 2, extra long, and they sold for $17. I sold this Fabletics Black Long Sleeve Athletic Zip-Up Jacket. I had this for quite a while. It sold for $15. I am really not picking up that brand much anymore. It used to do better for me even just a few months ago, but lately it's just sitting uh, next was a Kasik Ultra High Waist Thigh Shaper. This was in a size 22 slash 24 and it sold for $17. I sold this Cabby Short Sleeve Indulgence Top for $12. Next was like one of my best sales ever. It was a Prada Leather Crossbody Tassel Purse. This came to me in a Thread Up Designer Box and I sold it for $450. That was crazy, that was amazing, and I was so glad because my Poshmark sales were kind of slow. So that definitely just put me up there and they already rated it five stars, so I'm like, yes. Such a great sale. Um, here's an example of Fabletics not doing great for me. High Rise On The Go Power Hold Leggings 11. Pathetic. So I went from a $450 sale to an $11 sale. I have all kinds of stuff in my closet. Next was a Vineyard Vines men's blue saltwater sweater. It was in a size small. My brother said he doesn't like to sell size small that much for them. I don't know. It just doesn't move that good for him. So I sold it for 25. I sold this J. Crew Navy tweed blazer. It was a silk blend in a size zero and that sold for 17. Next was a pair of Anthropology Olive Green Essential Pull on Trousers. These sold for 15. I sold these Chaco ZX3 Classic Stardust Green Sandals sold for $35. Another cabbie tank top that sold super quick. This was a bright colored, actually, I don't know if that's what it's called, bright colored. That's a stupid title. Maybe I couldn't find the like normal title for it. Anyway, that sold for 20. Um, new locked high rise wide leg jeans in a size 20 sold for $20. I sold these rag and bone Chris rope slide summer sandals. I got these last year um, end of season clearance at TJ Maxx, which I don't hardly do very much anymore, but every once in a while, they sold for 48. Next was the Kate Spade fabric striped large tote bag. This came to me in a name brand handbag box, sold for 25. So not very good, but I basically made my money back. Next is a pair of Silver Suki mid-rise slim distressed jeans in a size 34. They sold for $23. I sold these Rag & Bone Simone Gray Blue Plaid Side Zip Business Pants for $38. Next was a pair of Levi's. These were the 311 Shaping Skinny, and they were in a size 22 wide. Those sold for $17. I sold these Spanx Jeanish Ankle Leggings in a size large for $34. Sorry, I paused because I'm seeing that my next pair of Spanx that I sold, apparently someone opened a case, and I never saw when that happened. So let's just look now. They said they're faded. Okay. Wow. And now Poshmark says we'll we are requesting more photos from the buyer. I don't know. I put plenty of pictures, up close pictures, like you could see the condition. We'll see what happens with that. Anyway, if it goes through, they'll sell for 38. Next, I sold the Soft Surroundings Teal Linen Blend Casual Sweater for $23 and it wasn't a size 3X. Sorry, I'm kind of spacing out. Next was a bundle of two items. One was a Citizens of Humanity Rocket Crop High Rise Skinny. That is a good style to be on the lookout for for Citizens of Humanity. And also a new with tags pair of Hudson Natalie Mid Rise Super Skinny Jeans. Those sold together for $76. Next was an Ariat shirt, which sold super quickly. It was a curvy stretch top and it was in a size extra, extra large, sold for 20. I sold this Cacique Black Nightgown. This was in a plus size 1X for $21. Next was an Anthropology Latigo Navy Blue Leather Slip-On Shoes. Those sold for $17. This J. Crew Top sold super quick. Possibly sometimes I put what I'm selling on my Instagram stories just because, just to show people kind of what I'm selling and sometimes it makes some sales and drives traffic to my channel. Um, this one sold for $17 super quick. It was really cute. Next was a Vintage Disney Store Bambi Pullover Sweater. That sold for $22. 
I sold this new with tags M.M. Lafleur red Felisa belted dress. I got this off a of Nordstrom rack. I don't remember how much, maybe 30 or so. And it sold for 108. So that's an amazing flip. Um, Adidas pink Zoe pink leggings. I said pink twice. I'm stupid. Oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. These came new with tags from TJ Maxx for like $7 and I sold them for 25. They also were in a size 3X. Next was a new Athleta Cozy Karma blue lounger hoodie. This sold for $60. I had it from a small little thrift store that priced it at $5 in the men's section. So that was amazing. Next was a Torrid red black lace long sleeve plus size top, sold for $12. And my next sale was this reseller swap box for Keegan. Here's the picture I used for him. <laughs> so if you don't know Keegan, he's the teen reseller on Instagram and Poshmark and everywhere, YouTube. Um, we're doing a swap box. So most likely that'll come out this week. So be on the lookout for that. Anyway, whatever. I didn't really sell it to him. We just made a $3 post and we both bought each other's thing. Um, Cabby flag blouse. This sold very quickly in a day for $18. Free People Ombre Brown Blue Ruffle Tank Top. I had this for a stupidly long time and it sold for $9. So goodbye. Next was a new Bowden Nancy Velvet Top. This is in a size 6. It sold very quickly for $29. I also sold this Torrid Black Denim Moto Jacket cropped in a size 2X for $25. Next was a Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chick Cardigan Sweater. I also sold this for $25. I know I could have got more, but that was like yesterday when I made no sales on Poshmark and I had to accept something because I needed to make a sale. <laughs> um, next, a pair of American Eagle White High Rise Leggings. Nope, Jeggings. I was going to wear these to church this Sunday, but they sold in like two hours, so... I guess not. They're super cute. Um, super quick sale. And Flying Monkey Bleach Skinny High Rise Jeans in a size 27 sold for $21. And then I just sold one more thing just now while making this video. It was a Torrid Charcoal Heathered Boyfriend Cardigan in a size 4X and that sold for $28. So that's my sales, guys. Let me know down below. What was your best flip this week? What was your best sale? Mine easily was that Prada bag obviously, because I pay around 17 to 20 bucks per item in those designer boxes. So I wish I could make more sales like that, but that's just not like common. Anyway, I'll be interested to hear what yours was. Um, Sunday, I will have a thread up name brand unboxing video. I have two of them. So we're going to do a which box is better video. I know those go over really good in this channel. So hope you guys have a good weekend. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.